Hi Pisces, how are you? If you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Michelle and this is your weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will and not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Please keep in mind that the roles can be reversing between you and your person. And with that said, let's take a quick look at what the universe has for you, Pisces. Again, these are still general readings, not a personal. So once again, you take whatever does resonate and you out whatever does not, okay? And before any further ado, let's dive in. Please, Spirit, please and thank you. Can you tell me about Pisces? What can you tell me about Pisces and or for Pisces? So we have the Empress right here in the reverse. This is Libra energy. We got the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the King of Swords. This is an air sign such as Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius right here. Let's see what else. We have the Hermit, Virgo energy here. We have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, again, Earth Signs. And Two of Swords, again, is popping a lot of um, air sign and overall energy here. We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, right next to the Two of Cups. This could be your energy, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio as well. So this is a mutual connection here, a mutual attraction, interest, if we must say, right? Um, the Empress right here and the Four of Pentacles right here it seems to be somebody is very stuck on somebody. Like, it could be you, it could be the other person around, but somebody is stuck on somebody else, okay? It seems to be that within time, because it seems to be that you guys haven't talked in a while, because that's what the cards are pointing out, that there's been some sort of silence for a bit. This person has, you know, done their own part, trying to move on, force themselves to date other people. But in a way, nobody can take your spot, Pisces. Let me tell you that, that nobody has taken, taken your spot in their heart. And if you were to ask me, so why are they doing this? Why are they doing that? Because that's how what humans does. Humans, we move on. When things don't get prettier, people tend to move on. And that's a human thing, you know? It's not always about right or wrong. It's about like, that's a, like a common thing to do, especially when you are adults, you know? Again, that's why they did it because it seems to be that there was a lot of silence. Uh, they lost hope and they decided to move on. But it seems to be that ha they have been failing because even though that they could have somebody else, they could be um, talking to other people. Nobody has made them feel how you make them feel. The king of swords right here they're very determined and not talking to you they're very strongly in the in their head of like i'm not talking to pisces i'm not communicating with pisces um they're very um stubborn your person seems to be very stubborn and they just don't want to talk to you right now with hermit right here very good energy they have been going in hermit mode which is silence indifference it could be ghosting or for most definitely the energies i'm feeling right now is like they're hiding from you because it's like i don't know they're hiding from you with the ten of pentacles right here okay they're hiding from you from you because they have a lot of things going on in their plate right now in their in their life they have a lot of problems this is not pointing out a money only it's about people around them if your person has a kid or your person is going through divorce or trying to get out of relationships, whatever that is, is still running. It's still going on in their life. If it hasn't been a year or so, whatever it is that it's had happened in their life is still affecting them. It has affect them in a very strong matter. Um, again, they have been hiding from you because something in their life is not correctly there it's not a line and others of you i gather this person is embarrassed of the situation they're going to going through and they don't want you to know because they feel like you're gonna judge them or that you're gonna get scared and you're gonna leave you know with the two of swords right here right now they're deciding and choosing not to take any action because of the situations that they're going through right now like i said before i want to repeat myself there so i don't get questions about what why they don't do it i just told you that they have a lot on their plate and if you want me to get specific it's not always about money it's about people surrounding them meaning they have issues with mom and dad they could have issues with exes they could have issues with the if they take ebt they take like stuff like that you know 
life as an adult is very stressful and your person is going through a lot of stress right now it's been going on for a while it seems to be that they're going through this stress for like either or six months to six weeks okay so they have been trying to ignore you because they want to put a priority in their life and if you tell me if i'm not a priority i don't want them you and them haven't talked in a while so again of course that priorities will actually move to different locations stages levels when the communication is not there and if you tell me they can only they can always reach out to me you can always do the same okay again you guys haven't done it and they haven't done it either because you guys are individually worried about your own life and of course if they did you wrong if you did them wrong it doesn't really matter here because once again they're just mirroring your actions as well okay and like i told in all my videos i'm not here to take any sides to bash nobody if you want me to do that you're not gonna find that i'm not bashing you i'm not bashing them because i'm a grown adult and i don't do that especially on the internet so here we got um a situation that like i said before it was like the right person at the wrong time like it was a mess you guys found each other on the worst time on each other's life and that's why things haven't been the way it should have been so your person right now they feel in a way when they think of you they feel like they shouldn't have wasted so much time or that they should have taken the actions towards you when they should have have but everything seems to point, to point out that they are regretful for not taking the actions they should have but they feel that it's too late now but energetically and emotionally when they think of you or if we talk about them with you or if we talk about you to them i should have said that like that they have a very intense feelings for you so far okay they're just bought like bottling it up because with the nine of cups right here they feel with the world reverse right here towards the virgo that there's no future in between you two and right now that deciding to work on their money or in their life you know building they're building their own future their own life so hold on and i'm back so let me see how is pisces person feeling towards pisces right now we got the world the nine of cups in the reverse <coughs> The eight of swords so right now they're not confused or wondering how they feel towards you because before i feel there was some sort of confusion or indecision on their part that they really didn't either or didn't want to acknowledge how they felt towards you or that they didn't know how they felt towards you right but right now they're not in that energy no more they're clear and they know how they feel and what they want but somehow they feel stuck there's something that is keeping them stuck and there's an air sign here what is keeping this uh can you spirit please and can you clarify the eight of swords let's see ten of cups everywhere okay so it is definitely an old relationship this person that you're dealing with could have kids and they're dealing with something from their past relationship they're keeping that hidden because if they feel embarrassed the six of wands right here leo sagittarius energy the wheel of fortune although things are going crazy in their life you know they haven't lost deep down there's still some some sort of hope in this connection they hope that you can come back around or that can that or that they can come back around to you and keep this moving the eight of pentacles but they really have no clue with the eight of pentacles again <coughs> regal taurus energy how to to make this a reality temperance sagittarius energy um they have been trying to heal from something and i don't feel it is you directly it's more about a past relationship that have been healing but they have been healing in silence so this could be why they hide from you because it's something about their past that you really do not know it seems to be that not ready to talk about it the star in reverse can we clarify the star in reverse of course energy by the way Can we get just one card, please? Thank you, Spirit. One more card. Thank you so much. So, I feel like 
because of the things that have been going on, they have been trying to <coughs> try to convince themselves that you might not come around. But in a way, they can't just let you go because you are very deep in their soul. There, you are very deep in their emotions, and it's like they get upset with themselves because they don't know how to let you go. Like they understand this, they understand that, but they're mad because they can't. You guys cannot make it work right now or that's a feeling that they have and they also are mad because they don't know how to let you go and you tell me they only need to move on i mean i can tell them that and they have been telling them themselves that too but they haven't so you can't help them i can't help them because it's a personal choice you know but um they're very frustrated with themselves and with the situation because you are their love of their life that's for sure and you are their fulfillment but something is in the big in the way that's acting as a big ass blockage. But what the Ada wants right here, Leo Sagittarius, there's gonna be some sort of communication. There's gonna be some sort of movement forward. I feel like they are going to reach out, perhaps. The King of Cups right here. They're gonna reach out to you, but they don't have a lot of hope that you're gonna reply to them. The three of swords. They even ready they're hoping or waiting for the worst they're actually waiting deep down when they send you the text message they're waiting for you to not reply or to reply something hurtful and they're they actually are hoping for the worst you know they're very scared they're very tragic mi mindset like very feeling defeated the five for once right here they struggle a lot again fire sign with the idea of reaching out to you because when they want to reach out to you they think about what if they don't reach out to me or what if they ignore me what if they ghost me why did they block me why did they insult me you know those are a lot of the thoughts that cross their mind with the three of pentacles right here and they also think like what if this person has somebody else already and they just told me like uh, um goodbye you know because they are very afraid of rejection of course everybody is don't be telling me that you are not afraid of rejection everybody is okay rejection is a very hard thing to do and to go through but again we all go through them you know what is what they uh what is exactly that this person is keeping from pisces what is exactly the thing that this person is keeping from pisces with the three cards we just give pisces an idea Okay, so they're going through divorce, it seems to be. Uh, they're not divorced just yet. Because we got the Five of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and we've the Hero Front right here, Taurus Energy. <coughs> they're going through divorce. So, again, legally, it seems to be that they still have to go through the legal paper. To that process, the legal process. And that is what they've been uh, hiding from you and everybody. Um, that's why they don't feel confident to come towards you because they, they might feel that you're not going to accept that. So, what is their next um, step towards Pisces? What are they going to do? Thank you, Spirit. The world right here. Four of Wands. Leo Sagittarius. Something about number four, it is very important for this connection. Scorpio energy, the death card. Thank you, Spirit. The two of cups, Pisces, Gemini, and Leo. And the Queen of Swords. This is uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Overall energy here. Again, we got Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius right here. And at the bottom, we got the star card, Aquarius energy right here. So it seems to be that it's going to be very random. They're not planning on it. They're just going to act on it. They're going to just see. They're going to say, oh, duck it. You know, like I'm going to just text Pisces. Let's see where this goes. If they don't reply, then I'll move on. If they ignore me or tell me something that is hurtful, then it's my cue for me to move on. So they're going to risk themselves to <clears throat> send you a risky text. This is going to happen around year <clears throat> 2022 okay don't ask me for months don't ask me for none of that because once again i respect the divine's time okay if you don't like it you don't like it but like i said to everybody my readings are not to fulfill your expectations this is just for me to give the message that spirit and my goddess has for you so we got the 401s right here they're gonna come towards you they're gonna text you to to see if 
how you are but deep down the intention is to see if there's still any sort of hope in between you and this person what the patron wants right here to be honest they're hopeless they don't really have a lot of hope that you are going to reply but like i said before they're just going to do it just to get it out of the way because they want to know they want to know what the death card and the two of cups right here again they're convinced in a way that you don't want anything to do with them but i that i found that quite hard to believe okay because they're still in your energies here and i feel this is just a connection that got screwed up because it was too early for it to happen and perhaps you guys were too young or too immature or again you your life and their life was not aligned for this connection to happen you know with the queen of swords it seems to be that they're going to you know own it and they're going to take the action of reaching out and talk to you or call you or so you think that it's not going to happen then you already sealed your fate okay don't bring negativity if you want this to happen just say yes so it more be don't be saying oh it's not gonna happen because you are jinxing yourself nobody is doing that to you you're putting yourself in the, you're bringing yourself down and bringing the connection down and bringing negativity down to the connection so always talk about positive outcomes if that's what you want with the king of swords right here like i said before they're gonna actually reach out to you number seven is important this could be the amount of months weeks or a specific day or time that number seven means for you, some of you but also number seven is uh, equal to miracles so it's not too bad but again they're gonna take the initiative to reach out to you again they don't have a lot of hope that it's gonna work but they're gonna do it anyways and when the aquarius right here they this is how their emotions flow they actually have a lot of feelings for you is a lot of un unresolved a lot of like unanswered questions and answers so again this is gonna help you both to heal and move on in order to heal and give this relationship a chance you know but they're gonna reach out to you this could be in any way shape or form okay if you say oh i'm blocked they blocked me or i blocked them think about that 2021 has multiple ways of using technology just because you don't know a way doesn't mean there's none okay Let's see, what is the outcome in between Pisces and this person? Thank you so much. We got this dark card right here. It's like fulfillment. The Hermit Virgo here. <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles. This is going to be a reunion, that's for sure. Okay, three of cups. Six of swords. Eight of pentacles in reverse. And then overall, we got the two of wands and the strength card, Leo Energy the page of cups right here so there's gonna be some sort of reunion okay this is something that is gonna fulfill both parties because l believe it or not you needed it they needed it you guys have feelings for each other and you guys are gonna have the chance to talk about it it seems to me that this has to be kept a secret or kept on the low i feel like you guys and both of you are not gonna go too public about it like i said before this could be due to third party situations on each parties or this could be one party or the other with the ace of pentacles right here on the low and everything i feel like you guys are going to talk about things about feelings and in a way it's going to be like a relationship of course i'm not talking about just dating but you guys are going to realize that you guys have feelings for this person still and that they have feelings for you too so again there's going to be a conversation a message and a chance to work things through of course the situation might not be ideal but to be honest your situation with this person has was it has never been ideal has never been ideal so that's one thing with the three of cups right here and the six of swords um there's gonna be a reunion here and i feel like somebody will have to walk away from somebody and i'm not talking about you two babes i'm talking about a third party so if you are involved in a third party you might walk have to walk away from them even though that's gonna be hurtful because you did develop some sort of connection with this past with this person that you made alive made alive or so and if it's not you entirely this could be your person who already made a connection with somebody else and they will have to walk away from them because the fulfillment and the love and the internal love is in between you and this person and with the eight of pentacles right here it's telling you that it's a work in progress that things hasn't happened yet you know everything not everything's written on stone so things could change because you are the main character of your story 
but for things to work you both have to put the effort not just ask they to do it or the other way around because again when it comes to love we can become selfish and like i always tell people if we were to ask ourselves oh what do i deserve we all gonna actually pull to our side so we got to be adults about it put your head and your mind in a scale and try to balance it out and be fair if you want them forgive them and move on if you don't want them forgive them for your own good um, if you want them forgive them and give it a chance <laughs> if you don't want them forgive them and move on because forgiveness is needed for for healing okay so again i'm not telling you to take them you do whatever you want so if you're gonna write i'm not taking this i'm gonna delete it because i'm just telling you that you don't have to take them but i get a lot of comments like that and it's like stupid so i delete them because if i told you you don't have to you don't have to tell me that i told you to take them because i didn't and i'm gonna delete it just like that so with the two of wands in the reverse and the strength card leo energy here again <clears throat> you cannot both of you cannot keep running from this running from the fear because of the fear running from the situation you guys running from this and they running from this has never paid off it's been going on for a while so you guys have to pretty much face your fears they have to do the same and you know use your patience and at the same time it's telling you here that even though that there could be some anger you have to try to do it properly if you're gonna lash out or say something you gotta do it properly because just because you're angry and somebody hurt you does not equivalent that you get to hurt them physically or hurt them the same way you did because at the end of the day we should not be paying people the same way like don't do not fight fire with fire you know if you want a conclusion if not it's gonna be a never ending so again be strong be patient and again face your fears and like i said before this has a chance of working out this has a chance of working out it's not a small it's not a small offer no more but once again it is your story and you decide what to do well they're coming forward it seems to be 2022 for most of you again if you don't want them just let them go before i go i'm going to give you an affirmation pisces at the bottom on the deck we have i know that my purpose is far greater than just working and paying bills i am more than my career then it says i know that my journey will have highs and lows i am aiming for progress <clears throat> and last one says I know that sitting in silence is the, the surest way to hear my intuition speak. I'm, I am I am listening. So this is the end of your reading. Thank you so much for your time. Please like and subscribe and I'll be back this weekend with more readings. 